Kumbamwa guys. Hi, this is Phil, a Kiwi in Japan, and welcome to another episode of Treasures for Trigger. So tonight I've got a couple of friends, again Molly and a lady. Uh, so my fan club is slowly growing, so I'm lucky to have a couple of ladies on the couch with me this evening. And uh, tonight uh, I'm going to be sharing with you basically an online shop where uh, you can buy lots of vintage figures. So um, I've used it a few times to fill in gaps in my collection, so a few random bits and pieces, but I'm excited to get into it. And uh, my wife has already opened the box actually, uh, she thought it was for her. So uh, <laughs> I've had a wee sneak peek at the, at the top, and uh, yeah, um, I've been waiting patiently to do the video, so bring the box over here. This is a, a shop, I'll put the description of the shop, it's out in West Tokyo, so I live a wee way away from Tokyo, um, so yeah, when I get the, the urge to, to buy vin some you know good vintage figures, I, I go to this store. So the first thing I've got, and I saw it at the top of the box, and uh, yeah, I was quite surprised, uh, vintage gaming. So this is a completely new territory for me. Uh, I never thought I would get into vintage gaming, and this is the first game that I've purchased um, and I couldn't really understand the appeal of it at first but um, yeah looking at this box I I get it now um, I, I totally get it so this is um, NBA All-Star Challenge and um, yeah it's um, Super Famicom is the, the console uh, in Japan and uh, basically it's the um, uh, Super Super Nintendo Entertainment System uh, SNES, and uh, yeah, this is a classic. Um, I don't know if I've ever played this game before, but again, um, it's got the uh, players that I followed and loved in the uh, in the early '90s. So we've got um, Patrick Ewing, Hakeem Olajuwon, Chris Mullen, um, Dominique Wilkins, Clyde the Glide Drexler, my brother's favourite. And Carl Malone, so yeah, this is this is awesome. Nineties, nineties uh, NBA, and uh, yeah, these these are much bigger than I than I thought. Um, so yeah, I was, I was sort of picturing sort of Game Boy size, but yeah, um, um, I was never we were never Nintendo kids. We had sort of Sega Mega Drives and uh, Playstations in our in our household, so. Not so familiar with Nintendo, but um, yeah, I, I saw this, it was very cheap. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing that I got. Also came, with, the reason I got it, it came with um, all of the, the paperwork too, so the manual um, and, other, and other bits and bobs as well. So that's really, really cool. Um, yeah, I was a huge NBA fan, still am actually, uh, in the early 90s. Um, so yeah, um, I don't have a console, so I can't play it. But it, you know, it's going to display nicely with my other retro vintage stuff. Um, so yeah, should I get into vintage gaming? I don't really know. Um, yeah, maybe someone could tell me. You know, am I crazy not to go into vintage gaming? Uh, being in Japan, um, I, I notice it says here for sale and use in Japan only. So that's potentially a drawback. But if I invest a lot into it. If I go back to, back home to New Zealand, will I actually be able to continue to uh, to use and play them? Anyway, super awesome. Um, that's, that's so cool. So that's a great start. So actually I thought there might be a bit of interest um, from people to, for people to see what's actually inside like the uh, the Japanese version. So yeah, let's have a look through a few of the pages and uh, yeah, the imagery there of the players. One one on one free throw three point shootout horse one on one tournament. Oh, cool, Patrick Ewing. So yeah, that's a good way to study Japanese. <laughs> Here we go. Look at some of these classic players: J.R. Reed, Patrick Ewing, David Robertson, Hakeem Olajuwon, Tony Campbell. I don't remember him. Carl Malone, Sean Kemp, Wild Clyde Drexler, Mitch Richmond, Hershey Hawkins, Charlotte Hornets, Sue Buttes. James Worthy, Dakimbe Matambo, Alvin Robinson, Isaiah Thomas, Danny Manning, Chris Mullen, Michael Jordan, Bernard King. 
more. Oof, Richie Miller, Fred Doherty, Dominic Wilkins, Charles Barkley, Ronnie Sickley, wow, blast from the past, Derek Coleman, Larry Bird, wow, legends, Derek Harper, Scott Skiles. Who became a coach, I think. So yeah, so, um, I guess I'm assuming that the English version's basically the same. Uh, just in English, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, there you go, Rob. Applied the glide. So that's really cool. Yeah, vintage gaming. Oh, maybe, maybe. Uh, yeah, exciting times. Oh, here we go. This has got some cross-selling. Uh, some WWF Superstars 2. So it has got the price here too back in the day. 4,000 yen. Mr. Perfect. Oh, man. I... Ooh. Danger alert. Danger alert. Vintage gaming alert. Yeah, I'm going to have to buy myself a cheap console now so I can have a wee go at these games. I think I'd be rude not to. <laughs> um, the, the next thing you'll know is I'll be showing off my uh, vintage gaming library. Yeah, my wallet will be saying please don't do that. But yeah, this this was um, 300 yen, so all complete with all the documentation. So I don't know, American that might be $3, New Zealand f under $5, so cheap as chips. Cheers.